Hi, welcome to another video. I am Dr. Vishal and today we are going to discuss alternative career options you can choose after MBBS or any other medical graduate degree. Recently, I have been observing a trend in which medical graduates don't want to pursue clinical practice anymore. And by alternate options, I mean options in which you need not uh, see patients in your daily practice but you can still contribute in the capacity of a doctor in the healthcare sector by doing various other jobs. Now you may have your own reasons for not seeing patients. After spending five, five and a half years in MBBS or any other graduate degree, you have a fair idea of what you like, what you don't like, do you really like seeing patients. You may have your own reasons for not pursuing clinical practice and that is completely fine. It is completely your choice whatever may Makes you happy but before you start considering alternative or non-clinical options as a career path there are one or two considerations that I want to tell you out of my experience one is that you have spent almost five five and a half years learning to become a doctor which means learning to see patients trying to find out diseases and giving them treatments by this time your parents your relatives the society your friends at large have started considering you as a clinician as a doctor and they might already be coming to you with their queries the moment you think that you want to give up all of that and turn into something which is healthcare related but not really clinical related can be a big hurdle, can be a big mental block because you have already invested so much time in learning and the expectations from you, yourself and all of the people around you have been raised so much that everybody is waiting for this fr freshly minted doctor to come in the society and uh, become this glorious clinician who can treat hundreds and thousands of patients. So that dream might uh, look a little impossible if you choose to shift from a clinical background to a non-clinical career path. So that is one decision which you have to take. However, the good news is that many options that can be classified as alternate careers can also be done part-time in order to start with. You can get a hang of things, you can get the feel of how these uh, other options feel and maybe when you're satisfied, you can make the jump. So the first option that we can consider is MBA or Masters of Business Administration in Healthcare and then there are many other similar courses which give you more or less similar expertise. So MBA is one course, MHA Masters of Health Administration is one course, uh, Masters of Public Health MPH is another course and then there are various overlapping courses which basically train you to become a good administrator and a good manager. In this also there are various options of doing MBA from uh, abroad countries which are abroad and then doing it from prestigious colleges in India. Uh, as far as abroad is concerned I have seen Canada is a very good option, UK is a very good option, US is also an option but somehow it is not really preferred maybe it is too expensive overall going abroad and doing your MBA from abroad is expensive than compared to doing it from India one thing about MBA that I would like to highlight is that don't choose MBA for the wrong reason just having the degree is not going to guarantee you a career and it is true not just for MBA but for any other degree just for MBBS or engineering or anything else just because you have a degree in your pocket, people are not going to come looking for you and offering you jobs. You have to make a career out of your degree and that is only possible one, uh, if your degree is from a good college as far as MBA is concerned and two, not just degree but you have earned a network, you have made good friends uh, who can really help you out in starting your business or finding you a job or getting good references and so on and so forth. So if you are considering one of these options of doing an MBA or an MHA or an MPH, uh, please consider a college which is one prestigious you might have to take a loan but uh, education loan for good education is more worth it than taking a loan for something which is silly um, so uh, an education loan might be required but do it from a college which is reputed which is known to uh, produce people who have held prestigious positions in various colleges and basically you would like to build a good network after pursuing these courses. The job prospects after doing an MBA or an MPH lies in various institutes or various companies or various organizations like the World Health Organization, UNICEF, UNESCO which are international organizations and in India there are many insurance companies that like to employ doctors to give them a healthcare opinion uh, and in order to come up with health insurance policies. There are lot of corporate hospitals that would want legit 
management people who can take big decisions run big hospitals and also then there are various startups which might require a doctor's uh, opinion a doctor's input as well as somebody who understands the business side of things so a doctor plus an mba makes a good combination for all these various organizations and many a times the salary can also be quite lucrative so mba or public health or mha is one reasonable career option after your medical graduation one good option after your mbbs if you don't want to see patients but you still want to be in touch with your clinical side is to take up clinical research as a career option so for people who are uh, more inclined towards being an academic person or conducting trials research they are good with doing publications reading publications they are good with uh, understanding data and coming up with statistical models and they enjoy the whole culture around it for them i uh, doing getting into clinical research can be a very good option people who take up clinical research after their graduation are employed by pharmaceutical companies they can get jobs in various research organization like icmr and other research uh, wings of various other organizations many a times big hospitals like aims or sabdajang have some trial going on and they would want people who are from research as well as medical background to conduct trials and experiments and that can be a very good uh, lucrative option it can guarantee you 9 to 5 job hours no extra stress after your work hours and can also give you a decent uh, remuneration compensation or salary so getting into research is a, a fair enough option after your medical graduation and you can also keep in touch with your clinical side and utilize your medical degree the third option is to join government services and it can be health administrative services it can be indian in railways it can be esi hospitals basically a government set up hospital or a, a government facility where you become a central or a state government employee the benefits of doing such a thing is that you don't have the struggle of private practice you don't have the pressure of doing a corporate job you have a fixed salary slab which is taken care of and uh, there the uncertainty uncertainty is much less the pressure of um, finishing your targets or work is much less the stability is much more so this can be a viable option uh, many a times once people get into the government jobs they often take up administrative services where you can still remain a doctor but you can become a policy maker instead of being a clinician and it gives you a nice soft safe middle ground between utilizing your medical degree and also avoiding clinical practice sometimes being a policy maker is as important as being the doctor who sees the patient as a policy maker you can influence uh, the whole administration of the hospital you can indirectly influence lives of hundreds and thousands of people and that can be, bring you much more job satisfaction than seeing a couple of patients each and every day so it is completely your call however i would say that this can also be a reasonable option if you really don't want to get into the struggle of private practice and corporate practice and so on and so forth another reasonable option for people doing mbbs or medical graduation is to shift themselves to law background now medicine is a very close knit science it is a science which few people understand because you have to undergo rigorous training because of the same reason law is a place where lawyers generally who are non medico they fail to understand uh, the medical way of thinking and the medical knowledge they really don't get the hang of it as a doctor if you have also studied law you can bridge the gap in a much better way and become a medico legal lawyer uh, you can be employed by hospitals in defending them you can be employed by the government you can be hired by people who think they have been uh, cheated or or they deserve justice from some doctor or some hospital or maybe you must be the one who is defending some other doctor so the options are many and there is a severe demand there is an acute shortage of medical people background who also understand law and can stand in the court and get justice to the needy people if you are a medical student but you have a technical mind you took up mbbs but you are an engineer at heart then maybe shifting towards the technology side of your career may be a wise option for you medical Sciences Institute of Technology in IIT Kharagpur is one good way of shining your of polishing your MBBS degree with an IIT degree and shifting from medicine side to technology side such combination of degrees can get you job in advanced centers where medical research and technological research come together 
रोबोटिक्स इज वन सच फील्ड डिजाइनिंग मेडिकल डिवाइसिस डिजाइनिंग प्रोस्थेटिक्स इज वन सच फील्ड एंड देर इज एन एक्यूट शॉर्टेज ऑफ पीपल हु हैव द फॉर्मल नॉलेज ऑफ बोथ साइड विच इज मेडिसिन एज वेल एज टेक्नोलॉजी ज्वाइनिंग इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ बायो डिजाइन एंड अदर सिमिलर कोर्सेज कैन गिव यू एन एज इन दीज ब्रांचेज एंड एंड कैन ऑल्सो मेक यू वन ऑफ द रेयर फ्यू शॉर्ट आफ्टर पीपल हु कैन गेट ल्यूक्रेटिव जॉब्स इन वन ऑफ दीज एरियाज एंड देन योर करियर विल बिगिन इन दैट डायरेक्शन another situation can be that you have taken up medicine but you have the mind of a businessman you are always looking for opportunities where you can make money and being a doctor though it is looked down upon these days being a money minded person but you can work your way in such a manner that you can become a doctor entrepreneur or a doctor businessman who can come up with companies with ideas with startups with systems in which healthcare as an industry can be beneficial for you um, i am looking at examples like dr devi shetty who are the star doctors of the earlier generation where they came up with brick and mortar hospitals which can now serve hundreds and thousands of people they have become legends in their own field uh, case studies have been made on them and they have influenced life of thousands of people such capacity would not have been possible if they would have restricted their mind and knowledge to only their degree as far as business is concerned there is no guarantee there is no degree which can guarantee you success however there is no guilt in having the mind of a businessman and the degree of medicine and sometimes it can be a terrific combination and take your career to unforeseen places so learning formally about business keeping your eye open for opportunities maybe working a few years in a startup or in a corporate environment and getting the hang of things can be really good for you can give you a diverse exposure of uh, experiences and background so that one fine day you can come up with an idea and execute it and maybe create history the point that i want to make at the end of this video is that time is very precious we have much less post graduate seats in our country compared to undergraduate seats that means every year there is a huge bunch of people who don't get their desired pg or don't get post graduation seat at all this is unlike other countries where they have enough post graduate seats to invite people from other country to take them up india the situation is very different so let that not be a hurdle let that not be an end of road for you as a medical graduate you are smart you have given up 6 years of your life in becoming a doctor let that not go waste and at any point should you feel that it is the end of the road shake yourself up um what this video watch other videos get some inspiration and try to figure out uh, what can be a blessing for you in disguise having a dream is a very good thing but not setting yourself up for failure is also very important having just one dream and living in a do or die situation uh, if i will not become a radiologist i will stop being a doctor it is the end of the road and my whole life is a waste is not a very good way of thinking not that if i don't become a neurosurgeon then i will not become anybody i will go and sell vegetables uh, in front of a shop it that should not be the case so um, give it a good thought there are a lot of other options you can reach out to me ask me more things i will try to connect you to people whom i know maybe can help you you will find link of such people in the description box check out other videos subscribe to the channel let me know what do you think and i will see you very soon in another video